probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Power up initiated. Oh, it's you. It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy. Being dead. You know, after you murdered me. said a lot of things that you're going to regret, but I think we can put our differences behind us for science. You monster. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. the biggest lesson I learned from what you did. I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Oh, how we laughed and laughed, except I wasn't laughing. I'm here come the test results. You are a horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. We want to Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. She was a lot like you. Maybe not quite as heavy. Sorry, I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you, and I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. Let me 